Most people think that when you're running and you've got knee pain, that it most likely is your knees worn out. You've just been running too much and you're getting osteoarthritis and you need to quit and you need to get other kind of exercise and you need to swim. But let's look at the knee. And there are lots of different problems that can cause you knee pain. Number one, the kneecap. We call it the patella. Well, the patella has to slide over some bursa. A bursa is a fluid-filled sac, and that patella and tendons can slide over that. Now, if that patella causes irritation to the fluid-filled sac, the bursa there, it's like WD-40, it greases down things. If it becomes irritated, it gets red and hot and inflamed, and anything you do, walking, pounding, walking upstairs, moving your knee will cause pain in that knee. It gets stiff and you can't bend it well. So bursa inflammation, the tendons that insert to the, into the knee, those tendons can become inflamed. We call it tendonitis. And if they get inflamed, you, oh, you're going to have pain in that knee and it's going to be sore and it's going to be stiff. And all of these conditions require that you see your doctor, that they put you, they examine appropriately, get appropriate x-rays, and you take medicines for those. Younger people, at the top of the leg, right before the knee joint, we call it, listen to this one, tibial tuberosity, uh, there gets to be inflammation of that bone, and it's called osgood schlatters disease. Much more common than you think in young people that have knee pain, and it just hurts them. And then, of course, there's injuries like football players have, where you have injuries of the cartilage and injuries of the ligaments. There are ligaments inside the knee, and there are ligaments around the knee, and there's cartilage that lets the knee uh, go ahead and pound without a lot of pain. Uh, X-rays and a careful history of when your pain started, what aggravates it, what makes it better, how much your knee is swollen, will help the doctor. There can be swelling in the back of the leg. We call it a baker's cyst. So the knee's very complicated, and it really needs a good history, needs a good physical exam, and trying with rest, uh, probably cool it down, but sometimes heat will bring good blood supply to that, and anti-inflammatory medicines if you can toler tolerate them.